Sodium chloride, or table salt, is an ionic compound. It exists as a lattice of sodium and chloride ions held together by strong ionic bonds. Ionic bonding is the electrostatic attraction between positive ions, called cations, and negative ions, called anions. These charges are the result of an electron transferred from one electron cloud to another. Ionic bonding occurs between metals that tend to lose valence electrons and nonmetals that tend to gain valence electrons. Sodium chloride is a compound of the metal sodium and the nonmetal chlorine. Sodium is in group 1, so it has one outer electron. And chlorine is in group 17, so it has seven outer electrons. Both atoms are looking to achieve a full outer electron shell. Sodium achieves this by giving up its outer electron. In doing so, it forms a sodium ion with a 1 plus charge, since it now has one more proton than it has electrons. Chlorine takes the electron from sodium to complete its outer shell, resulting in a chloride ion with a 1 minus charge, since it now has one more electron than it has protons. The strong attraction of the opposite charges creates the ionic bond between the ions. We can simplify this diagram to show just the valence electrons, because they're the only electrons involved in chemical bonding. As we saw, the transfer of an electron from sodium to chlorine creates the oppositely charged ions, and the electrostatic attraction of these ions is the ionic bond. This Lewis diagram shows how the valence electrons are involved in the bond, with crosses and dots to represent the electrons from each atom. Ionic bonds are non-directional, meaning they act in all directions. So, instead of forming discrete molecules, these ions attract and bond with other cations and anions to build a regular lattice of ions. And no matter how large this lattice gets, it always has a one-to-one -one ratio of sodium ions to chloride ions. The ionic compound magnesium oxide exists as a lattice of magnesium and oxide ions bound together by ionic bonds. It's a compound of the metal magnesium and the non-metal oxygen. Magnesium is in group 2, so has two valence electrons. Oxygen is in group 16, so it has six valence electrons. Magnesium readily gives up its two outer electrons, and oxygen takes them to complete its outer shell, resulting in a magnesium ion with a 2 plus charge and an oxide ion with a 2 minus charge. And here's the Lewis dot diagram showing how the valence electrons are involved in the bonding. The ionic bond between these ions is extremely strong due to the larger charges on the cation and anion. And these ions attract and bond with other ions to form an extremely strong lattice with a one-to-one -one ratio of magnesium ions to oxide ions. But ionic compounds also exist in other ratios. Calcium fluoride has a 1 to 2 ratio of calcium to fluoride ions in its lattice. That's because a single calcium ion, having a 2 plus charge, attracts two fluoride ions, each with a 1 minus charge. And an ionic compound always has cations and anions in a ratio that gives a neutral charge. In this video, we've seen that ionic bonding occurs between metal cations and nonmetal anions, with the cation formed by losing electrons, and the anion by gaining these electrons, and that it's the electrostatic attraction of these oppositely charged ions that bonds them together. We've also seen how this ionic bonding results in a large repeating lattice of cations and anions.